Yo, what is up everyone? This is Nain and Ornanathan bringing you yet another Raid the Dungeon video. And in today's video, we're going to be covering the additional details with patch 1.8.1. Uh, you might have noticed in the title of the video that the Flying Nimbus is coming back. Um, along with some other just changes. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it so you can see additional details down here. Uh, the, these were the original details of the actual patch, which is coming one or, uh, November 17th, so definitely make sure you do all that you need to before then. Um, but additional details, new holy set is coming, uh, the Cerber uh, Cerberus set, uh, decrease the attack rate of the enemy that has low HP. I'm assuming it'll be like, you know, once they hit 50% HP or lower, they'll have either their attack percent or their attack speed lowered. Not quite sure. That could be good for tier dungeon. It could be good for um, flame rift, depending on how the set actually works. But um, definitely to make you a little beefier, that might be very good. Um, next, the integrated slot prices. Uh, this was untold what the actual price was beforehand. We knew that it was the first slot was free, the second slot with quartz, and then the last three were quest points. So now we know exactly how many quest points it is, 2,000, and that is about $5 worth of quest points. So in my opinion, not a bad price, but I know for a lot of the free-to-play players, um, you know, $5 may be too much. It, it, may, it may be a lot more than you're wanting to spend. Um, one tip for this actually really quick. If you are an Android user, uh, get the app um, Google Play Rewards. Um, I've been using it, and over the past like month, I've gotten about twenty dollars worth of just like Google Play money out of it. Uh, and all it is is like little five questions, and it's just like, hey, did you go to uh, you know this bowling alley the other day, and uh, did you buy something there? And then you can just say, yeah, I did, and then just be like. I don't have the receipt though. I mean, that, that's literally it. It takes two seconds um, to do a um, survey and then you're just done. Anyways, next, change rewards in the rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, this is very cool. You're going to enjoy this. This is where the uh, Nimbus mount comes into play and then change skins in the Infinity Essence shop. Cool. Didn't really need it, but cool. Uh, Mark of Frost removal. So this is big. This means you will not be keeping any marks of frost they will not be getting changed over to marks of flame so definitely make sure you use these now uh, they will be going away on november 17th so make sure you use them use them use them before then um this is something very big to note after the patch is done um all of your titles mounts skills extracts etc will be reset to the default setting aka nothing um, so definitely make sure, or well, it says the extract will be the first slot, the skills will be the first skills, um, but mount nothing, etc. So, so make sure that you actually put, equip all your items and everything. Make sure that you do that as soon as you log in, uh, after November 17th. And then we're going to get in 30 marks of rift. And then down here, you can see they posted some pictures. Um, for the new stores, first off, we'll jump into the Infinity Essence Store 1. Before, they only had the Celestial Band and the Void Band. They did not have the Transcender and the Absolute, which in my opinion, adding the Transcender and the Absolute is a very, very, very good option. Very good choice that they made. Um, it's 250, uh, 250 Infinity Essence, so it is very pricey, but in my opinion, it is very much worth it. Uh, free to play players you'll get one uh, of these free um, I believe 30 days into the game and then I, I, in my opinion I think you should save up your infinity essence and then buy the other one that you do need after you get the first one um, because these are very hard to come by I think I've only had maybe about 10 to 15 of each through all of my eternal token drops but I'm not quite sure don't quote me on that I, yeah I'll keep up with all my collections. But anyways, you can see these uh, skin sets down here have also changed. And then let's jump into the Infinity Essence Store 2. This is the second page of the store. I believe these are more skins. And I'm not quite sure, though. They could be um, actual items. But no, yeah, yeah, they're skins. 
they got to be skins because these are eternal items or well these two are eternal items um and then they also have the reset vouchers x10 right here so yeah i believe these are new skins coming and then let's check the rock paper scissors reward this is probably the main reason that everyone's watching this video right now as you can see the round 10 reward is the flying nimbus mount uh previously this was the christmas sleigh uh, if you did not get the Christmas sleigh, I don't know if it will be coming back for, well, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're taking this out of the, uh, out of this right here, but it might mean that they're planning some other event for us during Christmas that will allow us to get the Christmas sleigh. Um, that would be very, very cool. But if you are able to get to round 10 and win, you will get the flying Nimbus mount, which is a very sought after mount. It will help your speed runs out incredibly. Um, so very, very good. They also changed a lot of the rewards leading up to it. Uh, the first three rounds are going to give you quartz as usual, but they're going to give you uh, more um, in the uh, amount. Um, round four is going to give you 250 skin, uh, skin coupons. Round five is going to give you 15 marks of rift. Round six, uh, five common dungeon entry tickets. Round seven, skin coupons, 500. Round eight, you'll get a Yggdrasil. Um, which is the necklace that gives you uh, two random affixes. So if you get to round eight pretty often, there's a good, or well, I mean, you know, you might be able to get a plus two out of this. Very unlikely, but hey, if you do, congratulations. Um, and then round nine, 20 common dungeon entry tickets. I feel a lot of these are actually underwhelming, such as the five common dungeon, dungeon entry tickets. For reaching round six, I think that your reward should be more than just five of those tickets. Um, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Uh, round 10 reward being the Flying Nimbus is satisfactory enough. I'm definitely going to be trying for this every day. I'm, d I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to get it. Um, and then one other thing that I find kind of big that I want to show you all really, really quick. You can see the two different currencies. Uh, the frost season uh, rift rewards and then the flame season rift rewards um now you're probably wondering why is this big well this means that more than likely the frost season uh, rift currency is going to stay there for a few days so that you are able to purchase your items um it, for me this was very big they specifically mentioned the marks of frost being removed but they did not mention the currency for them being removed so I believe you're still going to be able to buy things after the uh, season ends, probably only for a few days. So definitely, you know, make sure you actually spend your currency. Um, but I find it very cool that they're actually keeping it there. But yeah, um, that was the big thing that I want to show you all anyways. Uh, that's all I had for you all today. Thank you for watching. If you did, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I will definitely be making a video in about 24 hours cover, or well, when all the, when the flame season comes out, covering all the items. I'll be talking with some people on the Discord, figuring out uh, maybe which one of these items is better and stuff. But uh, yeah, definitely make sure you check it out then. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.